Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Um, I just got finished seeing a video by Pastor Fox, um, and, and I'm going to come right behind him and echoing literally just about everything that he, he just said. But the nature of this video and the reason why I'm here is because, you know, I, I really feel the need, along with Pastor Fox, uh, to make a video to supplement his, to back up his, uh, to help spread the word even more so. He's right. And uh, we need to be, first of all, number one, spiritually fit, and then number two, physically fit. And we need this. And the angle I want to come to you and talk about is, is that you're going to have to start changing the way that you used to do things or the way that you still do things. Um, you're going to have to make a change. You need to make a change now. Uh, lust that we we all have. Every single one of us deal with them. We we want this. We want that. We want this. We want that. We're going to start downgrading our thoughts because your life cannot be downgraded until your thoughts are downgraded. What I mean, I'm talking about downgrade um, your thoughts from stuff. You know, you, you don't you don't need um, that brand new Lexus. Uh, you don't need that brand new um, 2012 Ford F250. You you don't need that. Um, you really truly don't need a whole new wardrobe for this upcoming year. You really truly don't need that. You can make um, things do or make you know self do with a whole lot less. Um, because whether you like it or not, and I'm sure you feel it just as well as, as I do as well as the rest of the American population, you're going to change. Um, it's just a matter if it's going to be a forced change, which is going to be a whole lot more painful uh, than a willful change. You know, the scriptures teach, um, uh, be not conformed to this world. See, that's wisdom. It's, it's telling us to not do the things like the world, don't think like the world, don't act like the world, uh, don't live like the world. Um, but be transformed. See, the transformation starts by the renewing of your mind. So you can't expect to do anything any different if your mind is not changed. Um, so, you know, many people um, will have unhealthy attitudes. Um, an unhealthy outlook on life simply because they will not change their perspective or their viewpoints um, about certain things in the way that they see things they won't change their outlook um, and you know you're going to continue to keep experiencing the same old pains again and again and again and again that is associated with some of the uh, painful experiences you're experiencing in life until you change your course till you change the way that you think because if you don't change the way you think and I'm gonna reiterate it again you're not gonna change the way you live you're not gonna change the way you think you're not gonna change the way you approach life you definitely are not gonna change the way that you eat <coughs> um, there's a lot of transformation and there's room for growth for all of us especially me I mean I'm the biggest one uh, that needs change more than anything. I need change more than anybody, and I get it. I understand it. Uh, but Pastor Fox is doing his due diligence, uh, not only to be a doer. Um, he hears it, but not only be a uh, hearer, but he's a doer of the word. Excuse me. And he's doing a very good job of communicating the message, and and he makes many videos to help um, you to get yourself ready, both naturally and spiritually, as well as we do here. Um, you know, careful thought goes into the things that we say um, because we understand that we're very accountable. We're accountable to almost every single word um, that we say um, because, you know, every word, whether it be with thought or whether it be an idle word, it's all going to go to judgment, every single bit of it. And so it does not benefit us to give you false information. Uh, that's the reason why you see the faith that we have is best demonstrated by what we do. You see, you can see my faith and what I believe by what I do, not by what I give mental assent to. And that's why the majority of us um, have grown up in this abstract society, uh, view things and look at things. We view things from an abstract viewpoint, and so we just assume if we think it, if we believe it, then it has to be so. Well, that's not, that's not so. Um, you know, faith is always, real true faith, is always coupled with works. In other words, there is something to back it up. Go search the scriptures, check out the things, uh, and see if it's so. But faith without works is dead. And that's the reason why uh, most people uh, do not want to eat off our tables. Most people don't, don't want to be around us because uh, most of us, we run our mouth 
but we really don't have anything to back up um, our, our mouth. So, yeah, get out and do something. Get physically fit. Um, get spiritually fit. Forsake. Do not forsake. Do not forsake your private duties of prayer and fasting, reading your words, spending time with the Most High. Uh, and that's just the truth. Get yourself ready because whether you like it or not, the environment of our world, the culture, everything about it is changing. And if you don't adapt and if you don't change your paradigm, if you don't change the way that you function right now, uh, the reality of it is going to be very painful. And I don't think that you're going to be willing to pay that even though you have no ability to resist whatsoever at all.